Year 9 Season 2 has brought balancing changes to a lot of operators, so the best operators from the last few seasons have changed. So if you want an advantage against your opponents, you need to know which operators are on top. So starting with the 10th best operator in Rainbow Six Siege and the first defender on the list, we have Fenrir. Fenrir was the most banned operator in the game on both console and PC last season, so going into New Blood, he was expected to be nerfed pretty hard. Which he did get nerfed, but he is still one of the best defenders in the game. He has 4 Dreadmines which he can place anywhere on the map, and once activated, he can stop entry from that area. This is very useful because I can place down two dread mines and they cover an area because if someone walks through it, it's a free kill for me because their whole screen is going to be purple, meaning I can just activate two Fenrirs, watch another area, and now I'm covering so much area as one person. Which is why Fenrir is one of the best solo queue operators in the game because of how many areas I can cover just by myself. And not to mention he has one of the best loadouts on defense with the best primary SMG in the game and a secondary bailiff. And on top of that, you have barbed wire to cover even more areas. Area. And yeah, that's why I think he is the 10th best operator in Rainbow Six Siege. But the next operator we have on the list is going to be an attacker. And this is an operator that you would not expect to be on a top 10 list a few seasons ago. And it's going to be Monty. Monty has been seen in a similar regard for a few years now. And that is he's a good operator, but he's still a shield operator. A lot of people don't like playing shield operators and they weren't the best anyway. But in the past few seasons, a lot of changes have been made to shield operators. And the one that shines the most is Monty. He allows you to get close to your opponents and take map control with his shield and then you can just drop your shield and use the insane range on his melee to knock them over or to just create pressure onto them so that they back up. Monty is easily one of the most annoying operators to go against especially since they nerfed impact grenades he's even harder to counter now and he's really easy to use. Just take areas of the map and give callouts while doing so and you can just exist and the defenders are going to be scared of you. And make sure you're playing aggressive with Monty with your shield down a lot of the times as when putting that pressure on the defenders of a melee or being shot they're going to move around a lot allowing your teammates to easily pick them off. So Monty has gotten a lot easier to use and I think he's a great addition for any round. But the next operator we have is Valkyrie. Valkyrie has been consistently one of the best operators in the game ever since she was released and this is due to her universally powerful ability. She has three cameras which she can place anywhere on the map to gather information to better your defense. And the reason why Valkyrie is so good is with three cameras you gather so much information on so many different areas and once placed down anybody on your team can use your cameras at any time even if they're dead. So you can super easily just place your cameras down and help your team pretty much no matter what. And then when you take into account the crazy spots that you can do with Valk cams, a good Valkyrie can keep all of her cameras alive for the whole round. And on top of that she has a great loadout with a super easy to use primary weapon in the MPX and a deagle which can be used to create holes throughout the site. And then you have a C4 as your secondary gadget which you can use for free kills with pre-placed C4s and just overall adding so much value to an operator. So with all that combined it makes Valkyrie an amazing operator and to be honest she's not played enough. But the next operator we have is Ace. This is the second attacker on the list and some people will probably argue Ace should be higher up but it's kind of hard to find value in a hard breacher for every site and the operators coming up next are amazing. But Ace is easily the best hard breacher in the game due to him being so versatile and having one of the best guns in the game. Any round where a hard breacher is needed Ace is pretty much always viable. You can use his Selma charges to open up a wall for lines with sight and entrance to the site and then use his AK-12 to frag out. With a high fire rate and damage and no recoil, it's easily one of the best guns in the game. And with his ability, you can be super safe while using it from range compared to someone like Thermite or Maverick who have to be right up against the wall. And it's super quick to throw down a Selma charge, put your gun right back up. Compared to any other hard breachers, it takes much longer. You can use Ace to safely destroy shields and you can throw one Selma charge just to cover sound. He's the most versatile hard breacher as you can just go around the map opening up lines of sight to put pressure onto the defenders as his Selma charges can be used in so many different situations. So taking all that into account, Ace is easily one of the best operators in the game. But the next operator we have is Mute. The only base game operator on this list, Mute is a super easy to use operator with 4 jammers you can place to deny taggers gadgets. His jammers are mainly used to block drones and deny hard breachers, but it denies pretty much any electronic in the game and you can counter Dokubi calls just by being in the radius of one of your jammers. Mute also has one of the best loadouts on defense with the M5 shotgun and SMG 11 pairing. You can use a shotgun to dominate close range engagements and set up sight for your team and then for longer ranges you have the SMG 11. Mew also has a C4 which is obviously great, an operator with a super effective and easy to use ability that pretty much counters every attacker and has a great loadout is always going to be high in the rankings. But with that let's move on to the next operator on the list and it's going to be Buck. Buck is one of the most versatile operators in the game and he can be brought in every round no matter your strategy. You can use his ability to quickly get into the building or to play above or below 
below the site to flush attackers out of their positions. When you play vertically like this, it's going to flush the defenders out of their positions and allow your teammates to pick them off, and they're going to be more scared to play in good positions. And on top of that, he has stun grenades to help you get free kills when playing aggressive, or if you have a strat in mind, you can use hard breaches. He's one of the only operators in the game that can soft breach and hard breach at the same time, and Buck also has access to one of the best primary ARs in the game. With a high fire rate and high damage and pretty low recoil, the CA is amazing. Using his shotguns to create lines of sights puts so much pressure on the defenders that they're not going to know where you're going to shoot them from. And with how versatile he is, it makes him in my opinion the best solo queue attacker in the game. But even though Buck is amazing, we still have 4 operators left. And the next one we have is Legion. Legion has been hit with some nerfs because in the previous seasons he was pretty OP, but he's still amazing now. Legion is a really well rounded operator with 9 mines that generate throughout the round, you can gather so much information with such little effort. And Legion actually becomes better later in the round. When the attackers are short on time and are forced to rush into the site, you can throw your Legion mines in common plant spots and it wastes the attacker's time when trying to plant. And they might not actually be able to get the plant off. He also has a great primary weapon in the T5 SMG with pretty much no recoil to it and fast fire rate. It's super good at getting headshots while still having great damage for an SMG. And with his secondary shotgun, you can set up the site and create on the fly holes to better your defense. And even though his impact Packs did get removed, his mines are one of the best counter to shield operators, and with Monty being so good, his value as an operator is still super high. And not to mention, bulletproof cams are great to help you gather even more information. But what does information matter if you're blind? That's why the next operator we have on the list is Ying. Ying is one of the best operators for site executes, as she has two smokes and four candelas. So if you throw two smokes and a few candelas, you're going to get a lot of free plants off. Especially since you can just pre-fire with your 80 round mag no recoil LMG, and with a lot less people playing Warden, you can dominate with Ying. But there's still one attacker in the game that I think is better than Ying, but let's get the best defender out of the way and it's going to be Azami. Azami has been consistently one of the best operators in the game and you could argue she's been overpowered ever since she was released. Due to her ability being so unique and powerful, she always has a spot on top. She has the ability to create crazy angles that forces the attackers to drone, she can also block off angles, create cover, and she can be ran on any site just because of how universal her ability is. She also has two great primary weapons with a 9x19 SMG and the ACS-12 shotgun. Her SMG is a no recoil, high damage laser, and the shotgun is a pretty much a DMR with great range and an ACOG and low recoil. And it's amazing because it 2-3 shots every operator and you can use it to set up the site. She also has barbed wire for sound cues or impact grenades for setting up the site or just however you want to use them. So overall, Azami is still a great operator and in my opinion, she's still the best defender in the game even after the big nerfs that she's had in the past few seasons. But with that, let's get into the final operator on the list and who I think is the best operator in the game right now, Dokubi. The reason I think Dokubi is the best operator in the game is that she can basically shut down roaming all by herself. Now obviously it's probably better if you have a teammate to help you clear roamers, but she can still do it by herself if needed. No operator on attack can affect the round as much as Dokubi, especially considering all she has to do is press a few buttons and now anyone in a mile radius has an active alarm in their pocket for 10 seconds. She just makes it so much easier to clear roamers, or at least just makes it so roamers are significantly less effective. If you pair her ability with a teammate, you can pinch and destroy anyone that tries to roam, especially since she has access to stun grenades, which if you hear a phone buzzing in a room, just throw a stun in and then it's a free kill. But she still has some of the most versatile secondary gadgets as anyone on attack, with the option of smoke grenades and impact EMPs as well. You can play so many different roles with Dokubi. And on top of the roam clearing, when the call is active, it stops defenders from using cameras even if they're dead. So you can make a lot of plays when the call is active. And if you do end up killing someone, they drop their phone, which you can then hack to get access to all the defenders' cameras and not just default cams, even Valk cams and bulletproof cams and things like that. You get access to that and your dead teammates can use them. And if her ability wasn't enough, she has a great DMR and one of the, my favorite guns in the game, the SMG-12. All of this piles on top of each other to create an overpowered operator, in my opinion, the best operator in the game. If you feel you improved from this video or you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. And if you want to watch more of my content, then click the video popping up on your screen.